Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sad Onion. You know, always your host, Vasse. And today you can see we've got some Bolero rolls from Safeway. And over here at our wonderful station, we have some sausages cooking. So this is going to be a very quick episode. We're going to make what is called a Sonoran hot dog. It is the regional variety of hot dog out here in Arizona. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit and you can see the messy, messy stuff going on on our oven top or stove top. But yeah, this is the original variety of the hot dog. Usually it's done with just, you know, ballpark franks and stuff, but, you know, I figured getting some nice spicy Italian sausage would uh, make it a little bit better. The Blero rolls are just there because they don't sell large enough hot dog rolls to actually uh, work with this. So we're going to let these go and then we will start our dressings. I have some queso fresco and some spinach. Usually it's done with lettuce, but spinach is used sometimes too. A lot of really nice diced jalapenos and some guacamole hot sauce. So we'll be right back for the assembly and then the eating. Like I said, very quick episode. So we'll be right back. So we are at the most important step. So I cut this in half. I think this is going to actually work out very nicely. So I have some mayo, which is traditional. So I, I guess I kind of have to do it. Um, and some guacamole and serrano uh, salsa, which is common. Uh, salsas in general are common. And serrano peppers are common. Um, so we'll just squeeze some mayo on in there. And I like using a spoon to spread. Mayo is, is definitely the most, I don't even know how to say it. People seem to either love it or hate it. I, I like mayo. I think it adds a nice bit of creaminess to it. We'll just slide this. This is not the ideal bun to show taping, but this I think is actually going to be the ideal. I like the ideal bun to eat. Is the Bolero bun is nice and buttery and soft. It's typically used for tortas, which I really want to do on this channel. It's just basically a, a Mexican uh, uh, sandwich. And I'm going to do some onion, some sauteed onion that I'm leaking all over the place because I'm a mess. And there we go. And we'll just slide this in. And this looks just like a, a decent um, a decent sandwich. So we're going to layer these in. And I am going pretty hard on the spinach. And we are going to use our cotilla, or not our cotilla, sorry, our queso fresco, which is a very nice crumbly cheese. And there we go. Quite a lot of cheese, as you can see. And I actually don't think I'm going to use the jalapeno. Actually, I, I will here. Heads are off, and there is our. That actually looks pretty legit, so I'll be right here. I forgot to do this. It's always something with me forgetting something because I am absent minded. I forgot about the, the chilies, so just a little bit of the queso fresco, and we will use our chilies, which will just spoon out by hand, and I have a really crappy... Um, why don't you want to work for me? I need to get a new uh, can opener. This does not seem to want to match on. There we go. I was doing it upside down. That's what happens when you're not prepared. I also have some buffalo uh, hot salsa. So Typically this is made with diced tomatoes as well. But um, we don't have those, and I'm not a big fan of those anyway, so some peppers. And now for the final touch here, some hot sauce. This one's a little watery, but that's okay. It's not very spicy. It's got a nice kind of sweet salsa-y flavor to it. And this is our guacamole. And there you have it, a Sonoran, we'll just do a little bit more there. All right, so we'll be right back for the eating phase. All right, so we are here at the eating phase. So I'm just gonna pick it up. I imagine this is gonna be a little messy because we kind of sauced it up. That guacamole smells so strong.
probably heard the water hit the plate. That um, that buffalo hot sauce is pretty liquidy. But mmm, I've had a lot of Sonoran hot dogs. They're great street food, but this being homemade with uh, that spinach instead of iceberg lettuce is usually the thing that's used most. Mm. A little bit more liquidy than I want, dripping on the plate, but that mayo and the guacamole blends together beautifully. That guacamole sauce is really good. I just bought it out on a whim and said I didn't want to make my own. Um, probably would have been better if I'd made my own, though. Damn. A+. Plus. Um, if you don't have um, queso fresco, just use mozzarella. It's very similar. Mozzarella is not quite as crumbly, but queso fresco you should be able to find, even if it's just in an ethnic market across the United States. But if you're where I live, it's in the convenience store right next to the regular cheeses. I almost bought Cotilla, but I actually think that the queso fresco brings this up one notch more. And that, let, that like I said, the spinach really works. That not hot dog, actually good sausage. Really good sausage that I bought. Really improves this. And the bolero bun, it is buttery, it is very soft and pillowy. The outside's a little more tougher than you'd want, probably, for a hot dog. But if you ask me what bun to use for a Sonoran hot dog, bolero bun. Just cut it right down the middle and just heap everything inside. That works really well. And you can just kind of eat it however you want. This was really delicious. And um, we're actually getting some greens in our diet. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.